RNC says it will not sanction any primary debates. As former Congressman Joe Walsh announces his bid against President Trump, one America's Emerald Robinson sat down with Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel to talk about the party's ground game and battleground state. Well, thank you, Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, for joining us. It's already pretty exciting, even though <laughs> we're still a long way off. We, we're talking about that. We still have a long way to go before the 2020 election. And now we do have a primary announcement against President Trump. Jo Joe Walsh, a former congressman, has announced that he is going to primary the president. But the president has 94 percent favorability amongst Republican voters. So how serious is this? And will we see primary debates or any kind of real primary? So the RNC is not sanctioning any debates. Uh, the president is the incumbent. We see him as the nominee. Of course, there are going to be primary contests that will take place across the states that will get him the delegate count to officially clinch that nomination at the convention in 2020. Uh, but I don't look at any of these um, candidates as somebody who's trying to pose a real threat. I think more than anything, they're trying to hand it to the Democrats. They don't like this president. They don't want to see him reelected, and so they're going to do anything they can to hurt him. They don't see that they have a chance to win. They really just want to help the Democrats, and, and that's not what our party's about. We support our president. He's done a great job. He's made lives better for millions of Americans, and we want to see him reelected. Unprecedented fundraising levels, from what I understand. Can you just talk a little bit about that game? Absolutely. We have raised record uh, funds for the president's reelection. Because of his popularity, for the first time ever, the RNC has surpassed the DNC in small dollar fundraising. Many of the donations that are coming in are under $200. And that is because people support this president. If they're willing to give a dollar for the campaign, then they're going to go vote. And so when you see this surge in fundraising at the small dollar level and also the large dollar level, we recognize that the support for this president is across the spectrum and is broad. And it's putting us in a position to build that battle ground uh, ground ground game for these battleground states so that we can win in 2020. And that actually leads into what I wanted to talk about next are those battleground states. Can you just talk about the ground game you're running? I know that when the Democrats were in Michigan doing the debates, you were there. Yeah. You were doing a lot of gr uh, groundwork there. Something President Obama always talked a lot about. He boasted his ground game. Yeah, so one of the benefits that we have from this unprecedented fundraising is we're in a much better position than the DNC. The DNC is really struggling. So as candidates on the Democrat side are trying to secure that nomination and fighting for those dollars to become the nominee, we're getting a head start. So we're already in the battleground states, uh, the 16 battleground states that we're going to be uh, competing for. We're putting uh, data directors on the state, on the ground, state directors. We're training our volunteers. We're going to be knocking doors. And we're working hard to already educate voters and help them understand the issues that matter to them and, and kind of bypass the negativity we're seeing from the mainstream media and have these one-on-one -on -one conversations that really do change votes and help inform the voter so that they can make the best choice. There's some interesting conversations surrounding these battleground stakes, particularly Ohio. Yep. There are people who are saying that Ohio is already lost for the Democrats, that it's going to go for the president. They're feeling very confident about that. How confident are you in Ohio? I feel really good about Ohio. We had a really strong showing in 2018 in the midterms with Governor DeWine being elected. Uh, the president's numbers have stayed very strong. We don't rely on polls at the RNC. So we're using data and voter analytics in each state uh, that we've been compiling for years on each voter. And in Ohio, we have stayed consistent with support for this president and many other states. So we're in a really good position to reelect him in 2020. And the RNC, what we've put together is the best ground game in history. Uh, but Ohio's great. We've got to go win Michigan again, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. But what we're doing right now is putting us in the best position to secure uh, those states and win again in 2020. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.